Shoulder thing. Intro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I sing my way through the whole thing? <laughs> hey guys, it's Alicia from MobilityMastery.com and I'm going to show you one super powerful technique, fascial release technique for shoulder pain. Not just shoulder pain, but if I had to pick one technique in my arsenal and my private practice that I use with clients, it would be this one and that is the biceps release. So I do a, a method of fascial release called kinetics that I've developed myself over the last 10 years since 2008. I've been working with clients in pain for a really long time and I see all kinds of shoulder pain cases. I just put it in quotations because I'm talking rotator cuff issues, biceps tendonitis issues, just shoulder pain through range of motion. You name it, I've seen it. And if I had to pick only one technique to target shoulder pain of any kind, it would be the biceps. Now I've always talked about the biceps being the quads of the upper body and they can get super congested fascially and it's also kind of a meeting place of a lot of other muscles and fascia. So when you release the biceps, it actually has powerful positive ramifications downstream into the elbow and the wrist, but as well as upstream into the shoulder and even the neck and the shoulder blades or the middle back. So it's a super powerful technique. I'm gonna demo it for you right now. biceps release and this is one of my favorite kinetics techniques because as I usually say the biceps are kind of like the quads of the upper body when they're tight they can wreak havoc on so many things from our shoulder joint to our cervical spine or neck uh, pain between the shoulder blades all of this can be related to tight biceps believe it or not uh, because they're just super powerful muscles, we use them all the time. We have bent arms. What are we doing all day, right? Um, so, super simple. And I usually only do one to two of these on somebody. Uh, and of course, in the case of shoulder pain, as we talked about earlier, this is my number one pick. If I had to pick only one thing, because of the relationship between the bicep tendon and the shoulder joint, where it attaches. So when that bicep tissue, the actual belly of the muscle and the fascia within that muscle gets really tight, it can pull on or irritate the shoulder joint. Not unlike if I were to take Stefan's shirt right now and pull it into a knot. <laughs> so I don't know if you could see that from where you are, but it pulled this line that should be in his shoulder down. So that's pretty much what happens inside your body and your brain goes, mm, I don't like that. I'm going to give you a pain signal. So here we go. You ready? <laughs> All right. So boom, boom. It's already clunking. <laughs> so you're just going to roll back and forth a couple times. Boom. So we've got those fascial adhesions. We're trying to shear the tissue by pinning it between my foot and his bone. I am not pinning him to the floor. It would be very dangerous to have him go ahead and zigzag up. Do this range of motion if I were pinning him to the floor. So this takes a skilled practitioner to do. All right, let's do one more higher and then zigzag back down. Boom. So we're just trying to separate all those fascial fibers and I think it's working. <laughs> Awesome, and that is as fast as it can be. All right, what did you think of that? Were you able to see those clunks and that adhesed tissue in Stefan's biceps as we released it through that range of motion? If so, comment below and tell me what you thought of this. Would you let me step on your biceps or would you let a friend step on your biceps? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're here because you have shoulder pain, I don't wanna just show off what I do in my private practice. I want you to actually be able to take action for yourself and get yourself out of pain. My mission in life is to help you get out of pain, optimize your body and live your best life. So let's get you taking action right now. We're gonna to link to a video right here that is gonna walk you through your own biceps fascia release. And it's actually a very powerful self-help technique based on the one I just showed you. So if you have shoulder pain, go try that right now and then come back and tell us what you think of 
uh, the self-help technique and did it work? Did it work for your shoulder pain? I'd love to know. And maybe you can inspire someone else with shoulder pain to take action for themselves if you get a great result. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you think friends and family could benefit, then share the video with them as well. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell as well so you get notified of new videos. They go out every single week. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence. You may say